Welcome to the machine learning at home. Today my story is about how to bootstrap the hierarchical clustering. So looks like complicated, but actually it's quite simple if you have good tools at hand. So what is the question about? Question is that very frequently we clusterize object which result is kind of tree, dendrogram. And each node of dendrogram has some meaning. So we need to know how stable is the node of the dendrogram. And for that reason, we want to apply some bootstrap approach. So let me show that on simple example. First of all, we need to load my library. So please just pay attention on the version number and be sure that your version is 110 or maybe more if you watch this video later than July 11th. So this is the last version which contains all necessary comments. If you don't have it, please update it or install it if you don't have this package installed at all. Update package with command update packages and install package with the command install packages or with any menu available on your R system. Now the data embedded in the package called atmospheres. So this data, as you see now, contains eight columns. Each column is a planet of solar system and rows correspond with elements of atmosphere. So data was taken at some time from NASA website, but now it's not unfortunately available anymore for some reason. Anyway, I think this data is trustable enough and nevertheless provide a good example for the clustering. Let us make planet clustering. To make it, I will rotate the data for 90 degrees because we need two cluster rows and planets are now columns. So I will make planets rows. So I will make data. T is a transpose atmospheres. So now data contains planets as rows. Perfect. So the method of clustering is very simple. I will make everything in one. So I will plot of H cluster of dist, which is distance, of data, which has made. Okay, so number of parentheses is three opening, three closed. Okay, here we are. So this is our clustering of planets. Some clusters look very reliable. For example, heavy planets clustering together. Venus and Mars are reliably clustering together. But about Mercury and Earth, I have some thought that it's probably to the kind of, well, artifactual atmosphere of Mercury, which contains quite a bit of oxygen, 42%, similar to the Earth atmosphere. So that clustering is not so well reliable. Nevertheless, this is in a much higher height of dissimilarity. So clustering analysis noted that whereas Mercury and Earth are similar, they still quite dissimilar as well. Anyway, now I want to test how stable are these clusters. How stable is, for example, group of Venus and Mars? For that reason, I will bootstrap the data that is shuffle the rows uh, uh, actually columns, I'm sorry, columns of data, like oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, with possible repeat. So sometimes I will have two hydrogen columns or even more of it, and one of columns will go away. So if we shuffle the data this way 1000 times, well, then it is likely that we have some actual numbers of clusters which exist in each time. And then we'll calculate how frequently Venus and Mars cluster is present 
in our results. So let us do it. Command is B class. B class of data. And since a B class has slightly different defaults, I like to specify that I need the default method of clustering. equal to complete, which is default for function H class. And results I would like to save in the object data BB, for example. So now the function will shuffle the data, will shuffle columns of data multiple times, register result and compare it with initial clustering. So each dot is printed when one inter iteration is going on. So it will be 1000 dots. You can count them if you want. Uh, they provide it because otherwise the process might be very boring, especially if data is large. But for small data, you don't really need these dots much. Anyway, so this is our result. And I like to plot it. So we actually already plotted this clustering dendrogram. This is it. So we need now to plot only numbers on it. Let us do it with command BC labels. BC labels will take data BB and component H class, which is exactly what we have on the screen on the left side. And then we need some values. Values. I like values to be presented in a way of percents. And also I would like it to be slightly above the each node. So labels will be then located above the node, not just on the crossroads which is position equal to 3 and offset slightly distant position of labels will be 0 0.1. Okay, sounds like everything is done well. So we'll have this values soon. Yes, these are values. So as you see, the clade of Mercury and Earth has a 30% support which means that it is present only in one third, even less than one third cases of our bootstrap. So Venus and Mars present in 97% of cases. It's a very stable clade. Of course, this top clade is more stable. It's 100%. It's actually evident. And this heavy planet clade is quite stable. It has 88% percent support. So we have overall one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters which we use for bootstrap. We sometimes need to have more characters to have better, more stable bootstrap support. But eight characters in that case at least is good enough. Now we need to look on the second method of clustering. So that first method will bootstrap just one of trees. There is another method. We can calculate many, many, many trees, then make kind of average. And that average typically called consensus tree. And then we print support on a consensus tree. In addition, we can simply check this consensus <coughs> for the presence of numbers of clusters we want. For example, I want to check are three main clusters are present everywhere. For example, heavy planet cluster, Venus Mars cluster, and Mercury Earth cluster. So three clusters. So if you want this indirect bootstrap, the function is J cluster.
j class data method c will be same complete which is default method for h class function and i would test as i told the case when number of clusters equal to 3 so j class requires number of clusters to be tested And plotting will be even simpler in that case. Instead of complicated plotting labels command, we just need to say plot data gb. And we'll have three supports. One for the obvious cluster of heavy planets, which in that case is higher because we support uh, calculate support for the consensus tree and reduce it our results only for three clusters so 99 percent very high support for venus and mars and rel reliable support but much lower support for mercury and earth clade so this is our results of hierarchical clustering bootstrap again both methods direct b class and indirect j class will provide you with some values which you can understand as support for your groupings this is it thank you very much